What's up guys, Dante here. Now I'm doing a, this video because I wanted to do a video about podcasting equipment. So if you're interested in it, it's not that real hard to get set up. Get set up and ready to go. So I got a couple of things here that I actually used and I will be using eventually in the podcast. So I just wanted to give y'all some ideas and just like, like I said, if you're on a budget, here's some things that can kind of get you started and just go on and just go ahead and record your podcast and just get things up and running and also you can kind of use these things as external audio for cameras and stuff like that so right now I am using my what's that the zoom h6 right here I don't know how like right there right here let's see right here using it right there I'm actually plugged up and it's getting power and everything so I don't want to disconnect it so I'm using that right now and as I'm recording this video with my shotgun microphone, the Sennheiser, whatever, I can use that as a microphone to do voiceovers. Or you can see this microphone right here, the uh, Shure SM7B. I recently just got this microphone. This is supposed to be the best of the best when it comes to recording. So a lot of people use this for podcasting or voiceover work. I can use that. I can also use this uh, Rode Pod mic. Now, I definitely recommend this mic. This is only 100 bucks, so... If you need a microphone to get started up and running, get you a stand. This microphone for hundred bucks. Now it's cheaper ones, but I like the overall build quality for this microphone right here. So say if you want to get started with a podcast, if you can grab one of these, this is a Zoom H4N Pro recorder. This is only got only problem with this, only got two XLR cables. So you can do interviews with that, but it comes down to if you need more people one day. Now I definitely recommend the Zoom H6 for that because it has four XLR outputs. So this is uh, Amazon, I believe it's 179 you know, after taxes and shipping, probably like close to 190 Now the Zoom H6 is 329 the, Like sometimes you can catch this stuff on sale or you like, got little deals. But if you're going to get started, that's 329 But also, you got to remember, you got to get XLR cables. So the XLR cable I actually had on this Zoom and this shotgun microphone wasn't working at first. It wasn't getting no power. So Amazon has this little... I think it's two for fifteen ninety nine. Two black ones. These, that's exactly what these are. It's pretty good. Obviously, once I plugged these in, it got the power that it needed. So that was great. But let's get into like all the stuff that comes with podcasting. Like I said, you can start off with this one seventy eight. Get you started. The Zoom H six. Like I said, three twenty nine. But that's great. Get you a couple XL, XLR cables now. The main thing you need when it comes to podcasting. Depending on what kind of podcast you if you're doing video or just plain old regular podcasting, microphones. And like I'm saying, like it all depends on your budget. Shores, SM7Bs, three ninety nine, four hundred dollars. That's a bit expensive for some people. Maybe you don't have that kind of money. Like I said, the Rode Pi mic is on a hundred bucks. I believe an Audio Technica ATR or something. It's about a hundred. Well, they just re-released the other one because they got rid of the old version. Now they got the newer version. That's a hundred bucks where you get an XLR cable uh, output and a USB-C output that comes with it. So you got some options out there. Like I said, find out what your budget is and just if you're just getting started. Like if you have one of these around where you use this for external uh, audio, this is perfect. But if you're really gonna get into it, what I recommend. This is just I, this is this is a lifesaver. It changed everything. It, it's a do all machine right here. This is the Rodecaster Pro. You will look at it right there. Um, it's expensive to some people. It's five ninety nine, six hundred bucks. But I also seen a, um, a audio recorder that's made by Sound Device. It's called the Mix Pre Three. On B and H, it runs for I believe the price was six forty nine, and that's a, that don't even do half of what this does. It has good presets in it, but this has you know four XLR cable uh, outputs. You can hook up a computer to it, so if you actually want to play a video back in your show, you can do that or whatever. You can make phone calls with this. You can hook up a Bluetooth phone, or you can plug it in by cable. Some people prefer cable because it's more I guess connectivity issues with the Bluetooth. It is what it is. So you can plug up your phone to it so you can get better audio and reception from that. And like I said, with the Bluetooth, you can use a phone or iPod or iPad or any type of tablet or phone where you can play back videos or sounds or something that you want to put in your show. You can do that. And also, now that they have this 
update where you can have up to 64 sounds within this sound pad. Now it's eight pads right here. So you can have your intro, uh, your outro, your sound effects, um, make noise and all that kind of nature. And so if it's more than one person actually using this, you can go to your bank, change it, and have your uh, preset sound already set and go. So you ain't got to mix and drop in each other's uh, settings. So you can just do that all with one thing. And like I said, this is I've been using this for a while now. I actually love this thing. I'm looking forward to just making this the this is the podcasting rig right now. And also you can use this for voiceovers. So say you are reviewing a product or anything along that nature, whatever depending on what you're doing, and you want to put sound effects in the sounds as you're doing it. You ain't gotta cut and edit it and put it in the software. And you could do it all from right here. So that's like the best thing ever. And when I first got started with podcasting, the first thing I came to my mind was like, how am I going to do this? How am I going to get it to work? And once I looked over a few videos and seen a few things that I actually had within my house and to get started, it don't take much. Like starting a podcast is actually easier, in my opinion, than starting a YouTube channel. With a YouTube channel, you got to come up with an idea. Well, same thing with a podcast. You got to have an idea and just kind of come with ideas and come bring everything together and kind of create something that kind of handle with its own screen but whereas with a podcast is personal it's personally your it's, well I'm gonna say personal well, it's pretty much your personality coming through the um the sounds of the microphone. So if your personality is real catching and real compelling and you're talking about something people are interested about that'll bring people in. If you got one of them dull personalities that's like sad, miserable, that just you can just hear it somebody's voice is like, man, this dude sounds terrible, man. He's just miserable. But some people like to listen to those people just to feel better about themselves sometimes. But that's the type of situation you come across where it's it's really all about the personality that comes out when it comes to a podcast. See, with YouTube channels, you gotta have, like I said, depending on what kind of channel you got. If you got like a a sketch, like a sketch type base YouTube channel where you do skits and sketches of all kinds of stuff. That don't take much, you know, a couple auto recorders and a camera, a couple scripts, and you can make it happen. But when it comes to, like, a tech channel, you got to have some money to kind of buy some things, review them. You know what I mean? Script it out, your shots, like, B-roll, A-roll, how you want to do It's like it's a whole bunch when it comes to tech stuff. So it's like, for me, I love doing YouTube because it's just an outlet for me that makes me happy. And, like, when I got into podcasting, it's making me happy, too, because I kind of give my opinion and sometimes you want to have a little rant session, you can kind of do that within that podcast and just give your overall general opinion about something and just give information that's out there that kind of is helpful to other people. But you kind of have your moment at the same time. You can kind of do that. I kind of like that about podcasting. But right now, this is, like I said, this is all just stuff that can, ideas that can, I'm giving to you to kind of get started, whatever you want to do. Like I said, this ain't just for podcasting. You can use this for voiceover work for whatever you're doing. Like, the thing is about audio, it doesn't change. That much they bring out new microphones but a great sound at microphone is a great sound at microphone if it lasts you for years you're good to go like you don't have to worry about every year having to change because of oh, some new technology coming with this microphone microphones don't really do aren't like that like cameras you got to be changing every two years almost it's like new features come out new resolutions comes out like new formats and all this stuff comes out with new cameras all the time so when it comes down to like audio you can rock out with these for years to come. So, but overall, in this video, I'm just basically telling you all the stuff that you can use when making a podcast, getting started. You know, once you get your equipment and get everything up and running. Now, I'm gonna do another video where you can kind of get set up and what websites and stuff you can go to to actually get it published. You know, and have some type of flow out there and get it out, get it out on all the platforms and things that you need to do to get it on all the platforms. Now, there's different rules for like Apple and Google. Certain things they want, certain things you gotta change to accommodate what they want. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go over that, I'm gonna go over that in another video. But pretty much this video is just podcasting equipment, stuff I use to get the podcast up and running, things I've been using on an everyday basis that you didn't realize that you could just start a podcast with some of the stuff you already have. But this is pretty much the layout, some of the things I've gotten, some of the things I've been using for a couple of years now. Like I said, this is it right here. But Post your comments in the comment section. Let me know if you're interested, any ideas you want me to give you, or anything you can help me with. Put it in the comment section. Also, that like button, subscribe button, notification button. Smash them all like crazy. Like, come and join the 
the channel and check out the podcast. Also, go support my Patreon page so we can kind of keep this going, you know. So I can kind of give you the best content I can out here, trying to do the best that I can with information and technology, podcasting, video equipment, audio equipment, computers, cameras, all that stuff. I definitely want to keep doing this because I really enjoy it. This is like a passion in a part of me that makes me happy when I'm getting away from all the day-to-day -day drama that can be part of life. Thank you guys for watching. Hoping you enjoy. I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.